Hi everyone! Gematria, the substitution of numbers for letters of an alphabet to derive other words, names or expressions, a term also often used interchangeably with numerology, has been in existence since at least the 8th century BCE. While it's accepted that gematric techniques were common in Bach's day, concrete evidence that he intentionally incorporated them into his compositions is lacking. This lack of evidence, combined with examples whose method of detection often seem contrived, has created much scepticism around this feature of Bach's work. While I agree that some alleged examples of gematric use in Bach's works appear to be forced, coincidental, or to use methods intended to produce the most favourable results, there are some examples which repeatedly occur and are therefore widely acknowledged as probably being intentional. These intentional examples also extend to the use of symbolism. Before looking at some of these examples, I'll briefly discuss one of the most common number alphabets. Among many number alphabets and their variants, this so-called Latin natural order alphabet is one of the most common known to be in use during the 17th and 18th centuries. Except for the letter pairs I and J and U and V, which for linguistic reasons correspond respectively to the numbers 9 and 20, each letter of this alphabet corresponds to a different number. Adding together, each of the numbers assigned to the letters of a word yields another number. Adding the numbers 2, 1, 3 and 8, the numbers corresponding with the letters of Bach's surname, for example, produces the number 14, which since 1947, the year in which Friedrich Smend published his findings, has become known as the Bach number. Among several examples illustrating Bach's apparent affinity with the number 14 are he waited until he was the 14th member to be admitted into Lorenz Mitzler's society and commemorated his acceptance by having his portrait painted in which he has 14 buttons on his waistcoat and is holding one of a set of 14 cannons, now known as the Goldberg cannons. Herbert Kellner, a theorist investigating Bach's possible gematric connections, also points out that the first notes used either in a single part or alternating between two parts in Bach's Art of the Fugue are typically A and D, which correspond to the numbers 1 and 4 in the Latin natural order alphabet. In the fifth contrapuntus from his Art of the Fugue also, Bach in the work's 41st bar includes an appearance of his name motif, the B-flat, A, C and B natural notes of which correspond with German notational spelling in which B-flat is notated as B and B natural as H. The significance of bar 41 is that it's the retrograde of 14, and more importantly is the combined number of the various numbers spelling out J.S. Bach. In this way, Bach may be musically signing his name, one aspect of his apparent use of gematria. Another use is for generating structural or compositional ideas. In the first chorus of the Credo from Bach's B minor Mass, for example, Smend indicates the word Credo, the letters of which add up to 43, is set 43 times. The use of the number 3, possibly indicating the Trinity, is also found in several of Bach's works. In the fugue from his prelude and fugue in E-flat major, for example, the work is divided into three sections using three different key signatures. The fugue has three subjects and the key of E-flat uses three flats. Kalner finds other possible geometric links in the spelling of the art of the fugue, where he claims that Bach always spelled fugue with a concluding A instead of E. When this spelling and the complete title are changed to numbers, the result is 158. The same total as Johann Sebastian Bach. Visually also, Bach in many works uses this figure, said to represent Christ or the cross. The fugue subject from the second Kyrie of his B minor mass, for example, begins with this figure. The fugue subject also comprises 14 notes, creating a further possible connection between Bach and his faith, as is the fact that the cross figure is also the inversion of Bach's name motif. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.